Addictive Trigger has a really amazing hit detection algorithm called Audio Fingerprint. We're quite proud of this technology and think it might change the way you work with recorded drums. In this example, we have some recorded drums where the drummer has played some intricate articulations on the snare. We want to capture this performance so we can augment it with Addictive Trigger. Now, if you were using a typical triggering solution, you would have to set the threshold above the mic bleed from the next loudest instrument, usually the kick. Let's have a listen to what that sounds like. As you can see here, some of those ghost notes on the snare are actually below the threshold, so they're not getting triggered. This is exactly the kind of scenario where audio fingerprint really shines and can help you pick out those ghost notes without triggering off of the kick. Here's how you can do that. First, lower the threshold so that even the softest snare hits are above the threshold line. There. Let's have a listen to that. Now as you can hear, we're getting all of the snare sounds that we want, but we're also getting a lot of false triggers off the kick, which we don't want. To solve this little dilemma, just click on any snare that you want to keep, and add it as a fingerprint by clicking one of the slots below. Let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. It's like magic. With audio fingerprint, you can capture the parts that you're interested in while ignoring the parts that you don't want.